I'm going to show you guys how to find the power series expansion for tangent x. And I remember this question was actually on my own midterm as well, but I was a student. And the professor wrote it on the test that there is no easy pattern for tangent x. And the way that we have to do this is that to do long division, because we know tangent x is the same as sine x over cosine x, right? And we know the series for sine x, and also we know the series for cosine x. And we just have to do long division with infinite polynomial, technically, right? <laughs> okay, so this is a good memory question, I would say. Anyway, on the top for sine x, we know the power series expansion for that. And I want to write it down the expanded version, right? Because we'll be doing long division. Sine x is the same as x minus x to the third power over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth power over 5 factorial, and so on. And let's just get the first three non-zero terms for tangent x. So let me just put down the first three non-zero terms for sine x. Likewise, we put down the over... For cosine x, we put down the first three non-zero terms as well. Cosine x is an even function. We start with 1 and then minus all the even power and also the even factorials, right? Sign was odd. Now this is even. Anyway, this is x squared over 2 factorial, and then plus x to the fourth power over 4 factorial, and so on. Alright, I'm going to do the long division right here for you guys. Let's see. Long division in action. Put the top inside, isn't it? x minus x to the third power over 3 factorial, which is the same as 6. So we have to work that out. And then we add it with x to the fifth power over 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that will give you 120, okay? And so on. We put this on the outside. We have 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial, which is the same as 2, and then plus x to the fourth power over 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24, and then so on, right? Okay, let's work this out. Cover everything else except for x, and cover everything else except for 1. And we have to ask ourselves, what times 1 will give us x? Just x, right? So we put down x right here for the first term. x times 1 is going to give us x. x times this and that, the power just go up by 1, right? So we will have minus x to the 3rd power over 2, plus x to the 5th power over 24. And then we subtract. Okay? So here we have x minus x, which is just 0, so that's good. And here we have negative 1 over 6, plus 1 half. And of course, we have to just work out the fraction. And to do so, let's get the common denominator. I can just multiply the bottom by 3, the top by 3, right? And you see, this is technically just negative 1 plus 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2, but over the denominator 6. 2 over 6 is past the 1 third, right? So this is going to give us 1 third, and then this is the x to the third power term, all right? And then this right here, um, we have 120 on the denominator here, and this is 24. I will have to multiply by 5 and 5, right? This is 1 minus 5, which is negative 4. So let's put on the negative first, right? And just focus on 4 over 120. 4 over 120, which is the same as 1 over 30. So we have minus 1 over 30, and this is x to the fifth power term, just like that. Next, we compare this with 1. So of course, I need to have plus 1 third x to the third power. Take this, multiply it with all that. So we will first get 1 third x to the third power, and next, you see, 1 third times negative 1 half is negative 1 over 6, and then x to the third power times x squared is x to the fifth power, and so on, right? I should put on da 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 right here earlier as well. Anyway, so we put on a bunch of da da da. Okay, subtraction, this and that will be cancelled, that's good. Next, negative 1 30 plus 1 over 6. Let's multiply this by 5 and 5. So in another word, let's focus on negative 1 plus 5. That will give us 4, right? That's positive 4, so it's positive. Just keep that in mind. 4. 4 over the denominator, 30. 4 over 30, reduce that, you get 2 over 15, right? 2 over 15. 
and that was positive. Negative 1 plus 5 was positive right, earlier. And then this is the x to the fifth power term, and then so on. And the last term, I'm just going to put down, well, we know, plus 2 over 15, x to the fifth power times 1 will give us exactly that. And da da da, subtract, and then da da da. <laughs> so, as we can see, we actually found the first three non zero terms of the power series expansion, centered at zero, for tangent x, which is just that. This is going to give us x plus one third x to the third power plus two over fifteen x to the fifth power and so on. This is real cool, isn't it?